Scotland's whiskies came from two kinds of still. From the continuous stills, grain whisky flowed almost constantly, sweet, light, lacking in character. From the traditional pot stills flowed malt whisky, often peaty and fiery, hugely varied. One man's malt was another man's poison. Q, the so-called whisky barons who would mix the fiery malts and the sweet grain whiskies to produce a new kind of product, a whisky that would sell not just in England, but around the world. OK. So, this is the grain. I'll just let you have a little sniff of it before I put it in. It's lovely. It's Yes, and, and you might be getting some vanilla coming mm, Yeah, is, that's right. That's what it is. It could be yeah, yes. a wee bit of vanilla. Now, I'm going to add some, some malts. Now, obviously, this is a top secret, so you can't look at the labels. OK. The whiskey barons were looking for a blend that was sweeter, blander, more consistent, to open the door to mass market sales. Then and now, the recipe is a secret. Dewar's most expensive blend contains around 40 different whiskies. My personal blend contains one grain whisky and two malts. Stephanie refused to tell me which ones. OK. So I'm going to try this. There you go. The Cox blend. The Cox blend. So from this, you're getting a, oh. a sweetness coming through. Gosh. That's... Well, that's a cask strength. Ooh, so I'll give you wow. a little bit of water. Wow. To save the head. Ah, God. My ancestors would be re emerging if I took much <laughs> of this stuff. So you see that when you add water to whiskey, the whiskey almost oh my squirms. God. And it then releases different compounds into the Now, that the would space. last me a year because you just want to drink that and you don't want to savour drink it. it. Savour it. It's just, it's lovely. Would you like to try? Dewar's was only one of several companies offering blended whiskey. But they had a secret weapon the youngest son. Tommy Dewar was the sort of salesman whose foot stayed firmly jammed in any open door. And in 1892, he took his foot, a dress book and sample case on tour of almost the entire world. Two years and 26 countries later, he was back with 32 established export agencies. The profits of Dewar's and Sons more than doubled within a year. And thanks to the effort of Tommy Dewar, and those of other travellers with perhaps only slightly smaller feet, Scottish blended whisky went international. Mm -hmm.